What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MULN stock. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you the latest news directly related to Marlin Automotive. I will show you the recap of uh, David Mishuri's recent interview with uh, Wes Christian. I will show you the results uh, of uh, their lawsuit and in general I will show you the major direction of this price action. So, and let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video, let me show you uh, right here. I made it uh, at this very point, right after this asset dropped uh, to the downside, right after David Mishuri uh, gave an interview to Charles Payne. And uh, this interview was definitely awful, because uh, David Mishuri couldn't answer to the simple question why their general and administrative expenses are so high, uh, and uh, especially if you compare it uh, with the zero literally zero income uh, for their company and i have to say that uh, the recent uh, 22 vehicles that was sold uh, uh, allegedly sold uh, to the uh, randy Meron is nothing else but a smoke and mirrors because in general there is no vehicles uh, in their in the mullins uh, lineup that uh, has the epa certificates that is why they can sell it uh, legally to the public roads on top of that, a year ago, their general and administrative expenses were only $10 million. Uh, and uh, right now it is uh, th $30 million. And this means uh, they tripled this amount. But uh, why do they do it? The answer is simple. They try to uh, make another set of smoke and mirrors because they uh, hired a lot of uh, high level executives from uh, major brands from gm uh, ford and tesla and uh, these people are not working on mullen they just uh, sell their names in mullen's favor and that's it so and uh, i have to say that uh, on the technical standpoint you can clearly see the range of resistance you can see it uh, like this you can connect to these tops and uh, this asset cannot break it to the upside and uh, definitely uh, most likely it will continue its movement to the downside, despite all efforts uh, from David Mishri. And let me show you the recent news. 10 hours ago he published this tweet. Check out my recent interview with Wes Christian on September the 4th, 2023. This is a follow-up uh, to Fox's uh, Making Money with Charles Payne from August 31st, 2023. And guys, um, David Mishri make, uh, made some decent... Uh, exchange in his opinion because uh, he exchanged uh, the multi-million uh, people audience of fox business to his own channel that uh, has only 5000 subscribers and this uh, video this interview collected only less than 6000 views so and uh, let me give you my recap on this interview during this uh, entire interview for more than uh, 20 minutes, uh, Wes Christian describes the problem of naked shorting. And he's a very knowledgeable person, he knows what he's talking about, but he was talking uh, in general. He doesn't mention uh, Malin at all. And uh, this means that he's very cautious in his statements and he doesn't want uh, to uh, say anything that uh, might potentially harm himself or his company. And on top of that, at the very end of this video, on the time uh, stamp of uh, 2120, there is an edit cut. You can see it right here. Let me show it to you. So here was the cut and uh, we don't know what uh, was uh, deleted from uh, this interview. But uh, in general, I have to say this interview is uh, pretty much useless. And uh, you know that uh, previously at the end of uh, August, uh, David Mishri and Wes Christian filed a lawsuit. And let me show you uh, some details regarding this lawsuit. So, uh, you can uh, find uh, this uh, article on uh, Reddit uh, threads related to Malin. And uh, this article was published uh, by Ocean Life 413 And uh, it says... For those not familiar with legal stuff, uh, this basically means the judge did not think the case uh, was strong enough 
for her court and uh, is sending it down to the magistrate, a clerk judge, that take uh, on cases with little, if any, merit, in hopes uh, to dispose of the case quickly without wasting the time of uh, the seated judge. As many on here speculated, the judge uh, has already decided that Malin's claims are weak and already taken steps uh, to get up dismissed. It will be interesting to see what uh, the Malin uh, cheerleaders have to say. My, my guess is more claims of a rigged system and the judge is looking out for TD Ameritrade while ignoring uh, how weak this lawsuit actually is. And here is the link uh, to Pace Monitor. You can find uh, this lawsuit. As you can see, it was filed at the very end of August, on August 29th. And uh, defendant are Charles Schwab, uh, uh, John Dose, uh, National Financial Service, uh, TD Ameritrade. And plaintiff is Malin Automotive. And here you can see the order, the most latest order that was uh, filed on September the 1st, last Friday. And it says, to conserve uh, resources uh, to promote judicial efficiency and in an effort to achieve a faster disposition of uh, this matter, it is hereby ordered that the parties discuss uh, whether they are willing to consent under the certain rule to conducting all further proceedings before the assigned magistrate uh, judge. If any party does not uh, consent to conducting all further proceedings before the assigned magistrate uh, judge, the parties must file a joint letter by October the 30th, 2023, advising the court uh, that uh, the parties do not consent, but without disclosing the identity of the party or parties who do not consent. The parties are free to withhold consent uh, without uh, negative uh, consequences. So ordered. And uh, I have to say that uh, uh, another. this is another evidence that uh, uh, shorts, uh, naked shorters are not guilty in this uh, extremely harsh uh, sell of, of the stock. Let me show you uh, more thoroughly. This year alone, this asset lost uh, again. Let me show it to you. Uh, it lost more than 95, 97% of its value. And nothing can change it. Nothing can stop it. And uh, guys, the uh, 40 million shares uh, that David Mishery uh, filed uh, in this lawsuit is nothing compared to more than 1 billion shares uh, that were issued during the same period of uh, the lawsuit. And this action definitely destroys uh, again the value of the company and this action uh, pulls out even more money out of uh, the shareholder's pocket. And that is why you shouldn't rely on any type of uh, news uh, regarding this uh, lawsuit from David Mishri. And uh, that is why you have to be very cautious with your position on Malin. On top of that, let me show you that everybody is anticipating uh, the delisting of uh, Malin uh, Automotive from Nasdaq Stock Exchange. And let me show you that we don't have any filings, uh, any S25 forms. I guess I remember it correct. The latest form was filed uh, back in uh, August 21st. And let me show you how long this procedure might take. Uh, we are on a Reddit thread related to Malin, and again, uh, this is this uh, response was made by Max Investor 89, and he wrote the appeal here should be set uh, 30 to 45 days from appealing. Panel discussion usually takes 30 days after hearing. Could also be decided without a hearing after submission of the plan to regain compliance. 180 days is the maximum amount of extra time the Nasdaq listing panel can grant uh, to an issuer to comply to listing requirements. 180 days from the deadline granted by the last 180 days extension. They most likely will give them 90 days from that date. I haven't uh, read uh, a rule that uh, status uh, the Nasdaq listing panel discussion must come within 180 days. If for whatever reason it gets denied, they can appeal to the listing conceal and uh, then, if do it, uh, can appeal to the Nasdaq uh, board uh, or something like that. Or Nasdaq board can decide to take the case and render the decision themselves. Each step they have 7 to 14 days to appeal. This means, guys, uh, this uh, asset will not be delisted tomorrow. Uh, this uh, process is a quite long process and David Mishri definitely knows about it. And his uh, main goal for now is uh, to kick the can down the road for as long as possible. 
and he's doing it quite successfully because uh, uh, during just the uh, last uh, uh, three years he received uh, from the existing shareholders uh, more than 150 million dollars uh, in remuneration and uh, the latest uh, data is 155.5 million dollars that is why there is a lot of red flags and despite all the sentiment uh, in the YouTube uh, uh, search results regarding Malin, and they have to say that we have more people who are trying to shield the stock, financial journey and business that uh, they are the most uh, well-known persons. But uh, Small Bees uh, is also trying to shield the stock. As you can see, his latest video has uh, the title Malin Buy Signal and he explains why he believes that this company will go higher so it's up to them and uh, in general you have to remember that uh, you and only you is responsible for your money and all the profits and all the losses uh, are on your side and as you can see we are on pre market hours and this asset lost again 4.47 percent and uh, nothing will stop it i can ensure nothing will stop it because fundamentally this company is nothing else but smoke and mirrors and you have to be very cautious with any position on Malin. So I think that's all the information that I want to provide you. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!